All right, Internet World, Coach Rob here. I wanted to unpack something that I wrote on Facebook today. It's gotten a few likes already. And it was five little tips that was oriented towards weight loss. Um, being in the fitness industry for almost 20 years, I get tons of questions about how to lose weight. It seems to be the most important thing on people's minds. I'm 45 years old. I'll be 46 in September. And I'm going to go on a real quick side tangent in the beginning of the video, which is not a good thing. But uh, if I can get you to focus on strength training and developing power and strength, more than you focus on losing weight, it's probably gonna work out in the end. But you know what, I'm gonna appeal to the masses, I'm gonna talk about things. First thing I wrote on those six tips was eat less crap. Eat less crap, right? That's your goal to eat less crap. Um, a lot of times I get forced this question on me is, is Rob, I don't know, or, or this statement, Rob, I don't know what to eat, I don't know what to eat, I don't know what to eat. Okay, you know what not to eat. You do. I'm not gonna go any further than that. You know what not to eat. Eat less crap, all right? Eat more protein, eat more protein. One gram per pound of lean body mass that you want to maintain. You want to be 180 pounds, try to eat 180, right? You want to be 140 pounds, try to eat 100. You're going to keep it that simple right now. Shoot for that. You go over a little bit, it's going to be good things, right? Four times a week strength training. Now we're getting into it. I want you to train to be stronger and powerful, not just to spend monotonous amounts of times on a cardio machine, right? Sleep. You need to get to sleep. Here's your goal. Get to sleep at the same bedtime every night. Let's start there. If you're not doing that, let's start there, right? That's the big thing. If you are doing that, we'll work on distance, we'll work on time of sleep, we'll work on making sure everything's right before we go to bed. But step one, let's get to bed at the same time within 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, forward or backwards of it, five, six, seven, eight nights in a row, right? There we go. Water, drink a bunch of water. Most of you drink more water. If you don't like water, stop lying to yourself. It's water, it tastes like water, keep it cool. Drink water. And then maybe six could be the most important part, community. If you can surround yourself by a group of like-minded individuals that are pursuing a similar goal, you are going to be 4,000 times more likely uh, to achieve it. And that is a statistic that I just made up on the fly, but it sounds official when I say it with that kind of gravitas, right? You need to surround yourself with people that are thinking and acting and wanting to do the things you want to do if you want to get there. If you surround yourself by a bunch of people that give a shit less about how they look and feel, that go out every single Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night eating and drinking, it's going to be very difficult for you to lose weight. So find a community that wants to be sustainable or that wants you to sustain this kind of growth mindset and getting in better shape and eating and losing weight. And guess what? You're way more likely to do it. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great Saturday.